What's up, Idol? So for today's video, I'm going to show to you the uh, pre-program settings of TFT display from Teverun Fighter Series Electric Scooter. Pre-program settings means allowing the rider to customize the settings depends on performance of their electric scooter. This video is very important, especially if you are beginners. So this video will guide you to understand what is the proper settings and how to operate the TFT display. If you are new in this channel, please subscribe and hit the bell button for you to be updated for my upcoming videos. Now let's talk about the parts. So this is the NFC switch. This is the TFT display. And this is the TFT display controller button. So to turn on the TFT display, you just need the NFC card and tap here into the NFC switch. Wait for twice beep and then press the power button. Okay, guys, so as you can see now, the TFT display is turned on. Now let's talk about the TFT display control. So as you can see here, this is the mode button or letter M. This is the power button. And as you can see here, this is the plus sign. And then this is the minus sign. So this one you can use for uh, up and down. In TFT display, once you turn on, you will see at the upper part is battery percentage, battery voltage, motor indication like single or dual motor, clock information. In the middle part, you will see the motor power indicator, speedometer, speed indication, kilometer per hour or miles per hour, gear level indicator from echo mode to gear level 1 to 5. At the down part, you will see the motor status on or off, controller current indicator, error code indicator, temperature indicator. Once you press the letter M here or the mode button, it will change. You will see all the mileage information such as total info, trip info, and speed info. So once you press the plus button here, long press, so as you can see, the green light will appear and the light of display will reduce. So it means the headlight is on. So to remove that, you just need to long press again the plus button. Okay, guys. And so once you press the plus button here and minus button here together, so as you can see in the mileage, the trip info and the speed info, it will return to zero. So it will be reset but the total info of your mileage will not reset. So once you press the brake lever here, so as you can see, the brake sensor will appear. So it means that you are pressing the brake. Let's proceed to parameter settings. So you just need to press the mode button twice. Okay, guys, so in this, you will see the LCD brightness, unit system, auto off, clock, start password informations, advanced setting, factory setting, wheel diameter, voltage, battery information, and exit. Okay guys, to up and down, you just need to press the plus button, minus button for go down, and plus button for go up. To confirm, you just need to press the mode button, and to cancel, you just need to press the power button. So now let's proceed to brightness. So in this, if you want to change the brightness level of the display, you just need to press the mode button. So as you can see, the numbers here, it's blinking. So you, only you have to do is press the minus button or plus minus button. So as you can see, the display level will change if I press the minus button. So in this case, I use the maximum level, which is the number five. In this, once you select the numbers, you just need to confirm by pressing the mode button. Okay, and then you go down 
So unit system. So in this, in in my country, we are using the kilometers per hour, but in US, they are using the miles per hour. So to, to change, you just need to press the mode button. And as you can see, guys, the you just need to press the plus button here. As you can see, it will become imperial or metric. So in this, we are using the metric. So you just need to press the mode button to confirm is auto off. So auto off means once you forget to turn off your electric scooter. So within 10 minutes, the numbers you input, it will be shut off. So this is for battery saver. So next is clock. So in this, you can change the time by pressing mode button. And then as you can see, it's blinking. You just check what is the right timing in input password. So in order to go to start password, press the mode button M. Okay, so as you can see guys, please input start password. So the default password is you will see at the manual. So you just need to input the password Okay, so as you can see here, start, start password, back start password, it will show, press down, on or off. Okay, so if you want to change, to turn on, you just need to press. Now let's proceed to information. So just need to press the mode button. Okay, so as you can see in information, average speed, max speed, trip, odometer, hardware version, software version exit okay guys so next let's proceed to advanced settings this is the most important settings so in this you just need to press the mode button okay guys so as you can see here it will ask the password so the password you will see at the manual in advanced settings you will see the speed limit Cruise control mode, ABS, speed magnet, assist parameters, export, temperature protections, zero start, and exit. So in this, if you want to change the speed limit, you just need to press the mode button, change the numbers if you want by pressing the plus or minus button. If you want to confirm, please press the mode button. Okay, so now let's proceed to cruise mode. So in this, I would suggest do not turn on in crowded areas. So this cruise mode will use only at the open areas. And do not turn on when you are riding at uphill because it will burn your controller. Out, guys, once the cruise mode is turned on, so as you can see here, this is the symbol or logo of cruise control. Next is the ABS. So in this, guys, I would suggest turn off for smooth riding. And next is the speed magnets. So the standard uh, motor magnets of Tiberon Fighter Supreme is 30. Even the Blade GT and then Tiberon Fighter 11 or 11 plus. Let's proceed to assist parameters. Okay guys, so in this, once you press the mode button, you will see the assist 1, assist 2, assist 3, assist 4, assist 5. So this is the gear level. So once you press the assist 1, press the mode button. So you can see the speed limit is up to 20%. EABS 1, front start level 1, R start level 1. Front current is 15, our current or rear current is 15, and exit. So in this guys, uh, this is gear one only, so that's why the speed is only 20%. So if you want to change, you can change by using this press mode button, and then you can add if you want. Now let's proceed to assist two, okay, or gear two. So the settings of gear 2 is speed limit is 40%. So this is around the 40 to 50 approximately. EABS level, have a start, front current is 20. So this is the ampere of controller you will use for gear 2. And then if you are satisfied in that uh, settings, you can do exit. 
Now let's proceed to assist tree. So let's check in assist tree. Okay, so as you can see here, speed limit is 60%. So this is around uh, 60 to 80 kilometers per hour approximately. EABS level is 3, F start 3, front current controller is 25, and then rear current is 25. So all of these are default settings. So if you want to change, you can change. Depends on your demand. Proceed to assist 4. So in assist 4, default settings is 80%. So this is around uh, 90 to 100 kilometers per hour. EABS, F start, uh, front current is 30, then rear current is 30 ampere. Then if you are satisfied in this, you just need to go to exit. Into assist 5, so in this, press mode button. So as you can see, speed limit is 100%. So this is around 105 to 110 kilometers per hour. And then if you want to high torque power, you can change the controller current into 60 if you want only. This is optional, so you can set up to 60. But when I did the top speed, I use only 55 uh, ampere of controller. So you can adjust. Okay. And then if you are if you are satisfied in these settings, you can do exit export so in this once you turn on okay guys so as you can see the speed limit will change into a 25 percent so this is like echo mode settings so if you want echo mode if you are beginners you can use this and then to exit or cancel just press the power button temperature protection is up to 135 degrees celsius and then uh, zero starts. So in this, I would suggest if you are beginners, uh, turn on or put yes because this is for your safety. And then after that, of if you that if you decided for all your settings, you can do exit. So now let's proceed to factory settings. So, so to go to the factory settings, just press the mode button. And then here it will ask all data will be deleted. So if you want to delete all your data, you can press yes. But in this, the odometer will be the same. It will not be reset. And then after that is wheel diameter. So in this, I would suggest input the accurate um, numbers of your wheel diameter. For Tiburon Fighter Supreme, choose 11 inch. So the speedometer, it will give you the accurate numbers in your speed. So next is the battery voltage. So in this, if you are using Tiburon Fighter Supreme, you can input 72. But if you are using the Tiburon Fighter 11 Plus or 11, you can change into a 60. Okay. Then press M to confirm. Okay, and then next is the battery informations. So for the battery informations, it will show voltage, capacity, cycle time, and temperature. And that's all for today, the uh, proper settings of the uh, TFT display. So if you have comments or suggestions, please comment down below. Yes.